Hello. I woke up today and just felt an overwhelming uh, an overwhelming urge to really analyze some fantastic poetry. And that is what I'm going to be doing today here. Today, we will be analyzing one of the greatest works of poetry of all time. Before we get into this, however, I want to give you guys a little bit of background into what this poem is about. And if you guys just quickly scan this beautiful work of art, you will see this has a lot to do with gangs. And by gangs, I mean like violent gangs, drug gangs, those kinds of gangs. The ones who, uh, who you know, wave their hands around and, um, or make hand signs. You know, those kinds of gangs. This is gang poetry. Gang poetry. And usually when you hear things about gangs, you, you think about it in a rap sense or a hip-hop sense. But this plays off that trope of a hip-hop song and turns it into poetry. It's quite genius. And it's fantastic, in fact. So right here, let's talk about the title of this right here. No Cap. So real quickly, think about No Cap here. Oh so yeah, No Cap. I'm sure we all know about the... Um, the, the emoji. I can't find the emojis right now. I literally just tried for like five minutes. I'm so bad at finding emojis, guys. But no cap. We know about it. It's like this, and then it has and then it has a hat like this. You you know, you know what the what the emoji looks like. It's like a blue hat, a red no thing. But no cap. And capping this is a term for, uh, to cap means to lie, right? So when you say no cap, you are saying, you are saying, I am not lying. Pretty simple there. I am not lying. And that's what, that's where we start off here with the title of the poem. I am not lying. That's what this means. So let's start off and actually go into the lines of the poem. No cap on gang. So when we start off with this, no cap on gang, let's just quickly think about this. No cap, this obviously um, is I am not lying. I am not lying on gang. Now, why is it saying on gang? First of all, gang. What is a gang? We talked about this earlier, about um, the gangs that carry drugs around and everything, and the gangs that, um, uh, that, that have violence and all that. On gang. So, what, what, is, what is the author trying to achieve with on gang? On gang. So... Let's just think about this in the most simplest terms. A gang is a group of people. At the end of the day, that's what a gang is, isn't it? It's a group of people. So when you're saying, I am not lying, lying on group of people, what does that even mean? What does it mean to say, I am not lying on something? So this is what people say. They say, um, on moms, uh, no cap on moms, um... No cap on jaw, on jase. No cap on, uh, no cap on, no cap on the homies. Stuff like that. No cap on these people. And they are saying that because they are putting a life on the line. So what the author is saying here is that he is not lying and he is putting gang members' lives on the line. Now, also, we want to talk about on gang. Gang, a gang is a group of people. And that means unity. It's a group of people working together to achieve a common purpose. That is unity in its finest form, in its most simple form. No cap on gang. No cap on gang. I am not lying on a group of people 
for unity. This is unity. He is trying to preach unity. That is an overall theme. You can write this right here. This is an overall theme of unity. Then we have blood crip. Blood. Actually, I'm going to do this in red here. Blood crip. Sorry. Uh, I just underlined crip in red. I'm so sorry, guys. I got that. Don't worry about that. Blood crip. But I am underlining this to show uh, juxtaposition right here. You're posing two opposites. Why is that? Blood and Crip. These are two rival gangs. These are two gangs that do not get along. They have fought for who knows how long. Probably since the beginning of time. Probably, um, probably, um, I don't even know how long. So long. I'm sure uh, Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton were, were fighting as the Bloods and the Crips at this point. That's how long they have been fighting. But yeah, it's juxtaposing two opposites of the same... Uh, two opposites. They're, they're just posing two opposites. And it's also a paradox. Why is this a paradox? Well, let's think about this. Gang, blood, crip. How is it possible that a gang can encompass both the bloods and the crips? How is that possible? That seems impossible. Seriously, how is this possible? Gang blood crip? How can you put these two rival gangs that literally hate each other together? Why is the author doing this? How is this even possible? And again, the author is connecting back to unity. He wants these two gangs to get along. That is what the author is saying here. He wants all of these gangs to get along and stop having violence with each other. No cap on gang blood crip. All together, blood crip. He wants to put it all together. Blood crip, blood crip. The way the author says this is no cap on gang blood crip. The blood and the crip are supposed to be together for this. It is not a mistake. Unity, unity, unity. He is stressing unity between rivals, between enemies. He is stressing unity between arch nemeses. He wants unity. That is what the author is preaching here. The author is preaching no violence, no conflict. Get along. Try to work things out. Unity. Now I want to show you guys right here some alliteration. Crenshaw Kings. Now, if anyone watches the show All American, I believe it's on Netflix, and it's about football. It's about football, I think. And it, and it centers around a high school. I believe the, the high school it centers around is South Crenshaw. Let's take a look at that word, Crenshaw. Crenshaw. So when we look at this word and this word, these are actually the same words. So why did the author purposely misspell Crenshaw? Because the name of the gang is Crenshaw Kings. Why did the author purposely misspell Crenshaw? What is the point of this? Now, we know alliteration is when you have the same two letters um, starting two words, right? So, K is the common letter here, Crenshaw Kings. So, why did the author do this? Did the author purposely misspell it? Was it a mistake? I'm going to say that the author purposely misspelled it for a purpose. Alliteration here helps to give these two words the same starting letters. Why is that? Again, it connects back to unity. Everything in this poem connects back to unity. These two common sounds, these two common letters, unity, 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 sharing common characteristics, unity, coming together to create a cohesive gang right here. Crenshaw Kings. 
It's a gang. Again, gangs, they get in a lot of violence with other gangs. And the Crenshaw Kings are no exception to that as far as I'm concerned. But again, the author is preaching unity and non-violence. It's beautiful. Now on all Somalian outlaws. On all Crenshaw Kings, on all Somalian outlaws. This is parallelism right here. And I believe the specific type of parallelism this is, is anastrophe. Anastrophe? Is that correct? Sorry, it's not anastrophe. Um, it's anaphora. I'm very sorry about that. It's anaphora. The type of parallelism that we have shown here is anaphora. On all Crenshaw Kings, on all Somalian outlaws, same beginning to the sentence, it's the same words. It's parallelism. The type of parallelism it is, is anaphora. Somalian outlaws. The Somalian outlaws encompass the entire country of Somalia. So an entire country coming together, an entire country right here, coming to make a gang. That's unity right there. Unity within a country to come together and form a gang or, or uh, support a gang maybe. I don't know. But they are coming together for the outlaws. Somalian outlaws. Unity. 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 It's unity. Again. It's unity. And now we have... Um, some very short phrases here. On jaw, on cap, on da, on crip, on ka. I guess you could see this is once again an aphora. On jaw. Who is jaw? This is Jose, Dwayne, Ricardo, Onfroy, who is also known as XXX. Tentacion. He was a musical artist, commonly featured in hip hop things. And he recently, and he died a few years ago. So when people say on jaw, they are saying on jaw's life. On jaw's life. That's powerful. You're saying jaw died for this unity. I forgot the reason why Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy died for. I don't know if it was from from violence, if it was from drug overdose. I don't remember. But the author is saying that if ja, if there was more unity in this world, Ja might have not died. Ja might still be here. That's powerful. That's huge. That's a chilling message right there. On cap, we talked about cap earlier. On lying. I am not lying on lying. I promise you I am not lying. For all the liars of all time, I promise you, I am not lying. I am not like those liars. I am not lying. That is what the author is saying there. Again, super powerful. Like, like world, this is my blood. It is red just like yours. It is powerful message right there. On duh. The author is saying this should be so obvious. It should be so obvious that we should be working towards unity. But for some reason, we do not all the time. Why do we not always work towards unity? It should be obvious. On duh. On jaw. On cap. On duh. It should be obvious that we are working towards unity. Why are we not all doing this? On Crip. We talked about the gang earlier. The Crips and the Bloods. On Crip. Crip. Please. Please Crip. Please. Find common ground with the Bloods. Bloods please. Find common ground with the Crips. Please Crip. Crips, please find some peace with each other. On ka. A ka is what you call a cousin or a homie. I am not lying on my cousin or my homie. The author is also saying we should act as family towards each other or we should act as friends towards each other and love each other and have unity with each other. Again, powerful, powerful, powerful. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. A tear just 
came out of my eye. I'm sorry, guys. Wow. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to recite this poem for you guys in its entirety correctly. No cap. On gang. Blood crip. On all Crenshaw kings. On all Somalian outlaws. On jaw. On cap. On duh. On crip. On cuh. That was no cap. That was no cap. Thank you everybody for listening and watching this this analysis and annotation of no cap. Thank you.